you know, it's about these brokerages that are coming into town and they're promoting these tender like services. And I mean tender the, the, the tender app, you know, swipe left or right, swipe I mean I don't even know, I've been married for so long I, I don't even what is it? Uh, is it right? You, you, you take right and you reject left? <laughs> what? what well, you're a single thing. I don't know. I mean, you know? So, um, yes, you did correct. Okay, good. So, you know, the funny thing is, I'm first I'm going to break this down for a buyer and why a buyer shouldn't do it. The seller is a no brainer, but let's go for a buyer first. Thing one is the seller always pays a commission, okay? So what they're telling you is that they're gonna rebate you half the commissions, which sounds really good on the surface, but you know the problem is is that there are gonna be limited service here, and you're gonna wanna get detailed information on any of the, the listings. You know, you're gonna want someone that is gonna be able to help you with the snags and the inspection process, and you're, you're probably gonna be on, on your own in this. Okay, so think about the type of agents that are going to be working for these services. They are either going to be agents that don't have experience or they couldn't make it on their own as a full service agent. Do you really want to put your biggest investment in the hands of these types of, of, of agents? And you know, one of the most important services that you know, an agent provides a buyer is counsel them through the due diligence process of the transaction. Yeah, and I mean that starts with you know finding the home, writing the offer. Yeah, writing, writing the offers, a, like you said, right, writing a a great offer. Mm -hmm. You know, from inspection, mm -hmm. knowing what's important and what's not, all the way through to you know, are they staying on top of the appraisal? Because yeah. a listing agent may not care what what the appraisal comes back yeah. at. And that goes back to how did you write your offer? Are you going to, you know, prepare everything that's needed to help the appraiser? Yeah. So all of it goes smooth and you get the home. If not, something gets messed up and you lose the home, you start all over again. Is that discount worth it? I don't know. Yeah, right. So, like, we are experts at navigating complicated issues, such as gathering bids for structural issues and determining the cost of these repairs and making sure our clients are getting a sound investment and concessions for any potential defects in the property. And then we go back and we help our clients after the close make the property what it should be based on the, the concessions you got for whatever inspection item you ran into, right? Um, so now ask yourself this, do you really want an agent helping you that lacks the experience in this type of thing? Um, because, you know, Look, it is also that they're getting paid so so little that they really don't give a fuck, right? Yeah. And this is like the biggest investment in your life for most people, right? Yeah, it really is. And, and for the life of me, I don't know why people want to be cheap. It's like for sale by yeah. owners, it's like they're trying to be cheap selling their home. Mm -hmm. But nine times out of ten, they're under what they should be mm -hmm. or they sit on it for months on end. Yeah, and, and, and there's so many different things that you, you know, that you don't don't see on the surface, and so the answer to that question is: Do you want someone that's going to go out there and like discount their services, discount their motivation? The answer is no. Saving one and a half percent literally can cost you more than that. Okay. Quickly. Yeah. So for sellers, again, this is a no-brainer. This is you know you can wrongly make the case that for a buyer you're going to get. Uh, you know, a rebate, which I would argue that you're you're going to save much more by getting a professional grade agent, okay? Um, but for sellers, it's a whole lot different, right? Like, not only will they not have the budget to market the home, but they also have zero motivation for actually getting you more for that home, right? This is why we rarely discount our commissions. Less money not only cuts our advertising budget, but it's also a demotivator. Yeah. You know, um, so you know, there's a lot of these services that are coming in now um, that are offering to you know have this technology and disrupt the industry. And uh, and, and by the way, one of them I don't want to mention any names here because it could be an ethics violation. But um, one of them that is promoting heavily, okay, uh, and you can see them all over the web, right? Mm -hmm. I looked up. They're they're part of the MLS. They're they're members of the board. Mm -hmm. There are three agents in town. How do they do that? How do they, how are they going to service all these people? And I'll tell you what they're going to do. 
is they're going, and I, what I, my suspicion is, and I'm sure I'm right, with all the money they're pouring into, if they've got three licensed agents, they're going to be recruiting agents that are apartment locators to open doors for you. Mm-hmm. And they're not going to know anything about it. And how do three agents cover an entire city such as Austin, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're going to recruit more. You don't. Yeah, they're going to recruit more, but who are they going to recruit? And I'm a big believer in, you know, when I think on a listing, it's my job to sell that. I Absolutely. know that house. I've been in and out of the house. Yeah. I know the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's my job to sell it. And if you've got listings all over the place and you're discounting them, they're not gonna, they don't have the time, mm-hmm. nor do they care to learn about that listing. And, and say you're there and you set up 10 showings with you know, yeah. buyer, you know, agents representing buyers, and they come in and you sit there and tell them all the great things about the house and you help them, uh, their agent with, with everything. Yeah. You know, they're much more likely to submit an offer. And then what happens? Oh, all of a sudden there's you know multiple offers, and you get yeah. best and final, and then that price goes up much higher than that discounted rate. Well, it's like you said, you know, you're in charge of your listing. So when an agent, a buyer's agent, calls you on that listing, you know, you're, you're demotivated. You don't not you're, you're, you you can only it's a volume business. You mm-hmm. cannot know the property like you should. So it's just a bad idea all around, guys. Um, you know, another thing is you can't pay for staging when there's, there's that little, um, and you know, the juice is just not worth the squeeze, right? So um, that is, you know, pretty much it for this segment of the show. We're going to wrap this up in a minute. I want to remind you, uh, if you want to subscribe to future broadcasts, type the, what is it, Tina, type subscribe? You can type any comment. Type any comment in, in the comment section below. Uh, we'll have this on repeat, and it'll be on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you're watching this and you know someone that you think may benefit from uh, th- this advice, please share the video, and we will see you next week when we are covering how to find, how to identify, find the perfect ne- Austin neighborhood for you and your family. Thanks a lot, and we will see you. See you next week. Next week. All right. Now it's time for lunch. Now it's time for lunch.